guys welcome back to my channel this is Silvana here I missed you so everything is already done brows are done so without any time wasted we're gonna get started on the eyes so let's get this party started <laughs> don't judge me guys no caffeine but hey why not my first palette will be the Alamar Cosmetics Bangladesh palette and I'm taking the color IKQ and that will be my transition shade. My first transition shade, anyway. So, last Thursday, my friend came over and we spent the whole day together. And we were just talking about drama in general. Whether it was work drama, life drama, or because she just got married, uh, wedding drama. I feel like whether you just got married or you've been married for a while, no wedding has ever gone without any drama in it. And I know I'm saying the word drama a lot, but there is a lot of dramas that happen throughout weddings. Switching to the Per Festival 2.0 eyeshadow palette, I'm gonna take this color right here, it's called Insta Worthy. That'll be my second transition shade. So from among the drama we're talking about is... Her maid of honor turned like 180, was not supportive of her whatsoever. She was just non-existent at the wedding at this point. She was like, the bride was doing everything and the maid of honor was just like, but I did everything, you guys did nothing. I was doing everything and whatever and the bride was like, what are you talking about? I, I finished planning my own wedding, like you didn't plan it for me. Not to mention that when the bride like was stressed out and really wanted somebody to be there, she turned to her maid of honor. And her maid of honor was just like, Nah, I gotta go, sorry, bye. So I'm just like, hmm, that's not really maid of honor material. But that was like, I think, a couple of days or something before the wedding, so she couldn't really change anything. But, man, talk about drama. Going back to my Spangladesh palette by Alamar Cosmetics, and I'm taking this color right here. It's called uh, Ponte Hyper. And I'll be placing that all over my lid. To add more drama to the wedding, the maid of honor did her wedding like a short while before the bride's wedding. So, you guys can imagine how, like, stressed she was and how, you know, terrified she was. From the same palette, I'm taking the color Guau and I am going to darken the outer corner a little bit with it. And speaking of bridesmaids drama and maid of honor and all of that, I have another friend that's getting married soon, and right before her bachelorette par her pa bachelorette party, I can't say that word, but that's okay, uh, one of her bridesmaids backed out, like, not even a couple of days. Her excuse was, uh, one of the other bridesmaids is not vaccinated. But you knew that. Like, you knew that she's not vaccinated. You knew she wasn't going to get vaccinated. Why would you wait to the last minute to back out of it? You know what I'm saying? It just, you're, you're creating more stress for a bride that's already stressed out. To line my eyes, I'm using the Appeal Adhesive Liquid Eyeliner in the shade Jet Black. I mean, honestly, if she had canceled a little bit earlier, like not right before the event, I would have been a little more understanding. So would the bride. I know the bride to be. She's very, like, she's a very understanding person. But to cancel right before is just, it's too much to handle anybody. Not just the bride-to-be, but like, anybody would be annoyed if, it, like, if it's a wedding or not. If, if you have an event and then people cancel last minute, it kind of is annoying, you know? And I understand that there's stuff that happens, you know, out of your control. Yes. But to give an excuse that, 
you're not going just because another person is not vaccinated? You knew that. This is not, it's not a new thing for you. You knew that already. You know? I'm going to go ahead and apply my mascara and my lashes really quickly off camera. Uh, for a full tutorial on how to, to apply your lashes, check out this video right up here. Somewhere. <laughs> To give this look a little more bling, I'm going in with my Glamour Glitter by Beauty Treats in the shade number 3, pink. And I'm going to use the NYX uh, Professional Makeup Glitter Primer for that. And then my, when my friend was here, we also talked about like work drama and how she's been getting... Um, she's been having a lot of problems at work. Um, she mainly because like she's been asking for more work and they're suddenly like yeah yeah sure we'll give you more work but then they don't and they give it to other people which she was just like but why like I'm asking for more work and they're just like sure sure so she felt like the writing was on the wall and then she was just like you know what I'm just gonna start looking for another job and she did and thank God she did manage to find new job and then when she went to turn in her resignation and whatever, her boss was like, why? You know, we we wanted you to stay, whatever. But she just felt like that was so fake, honestly. <laughs> was just like, yeah, well, I found a better job, so bye. <laughs> to line my lower waterline, I'm using the Mino Generation Perfect Eye Lip Liner in the shade number 3, the pink one. But the good thing is, is that she found this new job and she's happier. At least I hope she's happier. She just started this week, so I'm guessing she's happier. Finished working on top of my eyes. I'm going to go ahead and finish off the face really quickly off camera. And then when we come back, we finish off the under eye and the lips and the look is done. If you guys want to see a full face tutorial, check out this video right up here. Face is done, so I'm going to go ahead and get started on the under eyes. And I'm going to my Per Festival 2.0 palette, and I'm taking the color Turn It Up. So after we spend the day here, and you know, all that talking and all that, we went back to her place, and my god, she has the cutest little dog ever. I think she said her name, no, I don't remember her name, but she was like six weeks old, and she's just so cute. She was following me around everywhere I go, she was just like on top of me, and I was just like, can I take her home with me? She was just like, no, but oh my god, that dog was so cute. From the same pear palette, I'm taking the color Dreamland, and I'm going to use that to blend the Turn It Up color that I just used under my eyes. And then we talked some more until our husbands came home and we ordered food, sat down and ate together and all that time I'm just like obsessed over her dog. She had two cats but I'm not really a cat person, I'm more of a dog person so I was just obsessing over the dog. To highlight my brow bone and my inner corner, I'm using the color Euphoric. It ended up being a very nice day and we vented a lot to each other about all the drama we've been seeing a lot lately. So it was re also relaxing, you know, sometimes it helps to talk about everything that's happening. So. We were just like, let's do that again. And we will. For lips today, I'm using two lipsticks. I am using the Fenty Beauty Stunna Lip Paint in the shade Unlocked. And with it, I'm using the RK by Kiss lipstick in the shade Mauve It. And throughout the day, my friend is an interior designer, so throughout the day I was like, hmm... Do you want to help me design my studio? So she will be helping me, um, you know, put some life into this studio because <laughs> I know mine is so dead. 
I do want to give you guys a heads up or something. I might be absent the next couple of weeks from YouTube and, you know, social media and everything. Um, when I come back, I'll let you know why I was absent. To set the products on my face, I'm using the Farsali Rose Gold Skin Mist. This is the finished look you guys. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like and share with your friends, hit that notification bell so you can be notified every week when I post a new video. And just a little piece of advice you guys. Anybody out there who's a bridesmaid, a maid of honor or something, just have pity on the bride. It's, it's already a stressful situation when you guys... Um, you know, pull all of this drama, you're making it worse. You know, put yourselves in your shoe, in the bride's shoes. You wouldn't want all of this drama right before your wedding. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.